Okay, so this title is no exaggeration. I've been using Final Cut Pro for something like 10 plus years, day in and day out, chopping that broccoli, making videos, and I was taught or shown a new tip that I had not even thought of. I hadn't thought of trying it, I haven't thought of using it, and someone showed it to me and I was like, <gasps> You can do that? Now that's the reaction that I look for whenever I am putting together tips and tricks for you all to learn. Some of my most successful videos have been about tips and tricks because I've had that reaction and then shared it all with you. I thought that I knew everything. I thought that I had Final Cut Pro covered and then my friend Kelson here, who's a friend of mine through Discord, he has his own channel, 42,000 subs. I'll put a link down in the description so you can check it out. He messaged me on Dis Discord and he goes, did you know you can do this? And I, again, I watched it, I'm like, oh, and you guys are probably saying, dude, just shut up and show us the, the tip. So I've got a, uh, a photography video here I've edited and we're looking at some photographs that I took in Venice Beach, California on a recent trip to Los Angeles. I took some photographs at the beach, the skateboarder with Kodak Ektar 100 on an old 1983 point and shoot camera. And I wanted to put a little title here, but I wanna change the color. Now, how would we normally change the color of the face of this text and the glow of this text? We're gonna change two colors. I would go here and then I I would look at my swatches and I would change it to yellow and then I would go down here to this one and then I would click again and then I would change it to this color to get it all over to yellow. But what if I told you there was an easier and more magical way to do this? So let's go ahead and undo it. We're in the face section here in the inspector and we're going to click on this to bring up our swatches. I like this yellow, right? Great. Phone call interrupting us. Terrible. We'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and tell that spam call to be declined. I know. Come on, Matt, just show us. You can click and drag this color down to this one. Are you kidding me? I know it doesn't seem like much, but something as little as that, allowing you to not have to go like this and click this swatch. It's a couple extra steps to do it the old way, but this click and drag to the color box of the other thing. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I know it doesn't seem like much. It's these little things that you find in your software that you're using day in and day out that just blow you away. And sometimes, honestly, make you feel a little stupid that you didn't even think to try. Well, maybe if I just click and drag this from this one to this one, it'll change the color. Who would have known? But Kelson, his mind works that way. He looks for all these little shortcuts and stuff, and it's been great getting to know him and exchanging tips and tricks and all of that stuff. So if you have any tips or tricks, drop them in the comments. If you didn't know this one, drop it in the comments. Let me know. Is it going to help be a little bit of a game changer for your work? If you did know this, why didn't you share it with me before? How have you You've been holding out from me for all these years. But if you really like tips and tricks, I've got a lot of old videos that have tips and tricks and I'll include some links down in the description. If you're not subscribed, if you haven't liked this video, get into the Final Cut Pro fam, the Broccoli Squad. So yeah, that's it. That's the tip. Uh, I mean, I just, I can't believe it. That's all I've got for this one, everyone. Until the next one, I'll see you all soon. Don't forget, keep chopping that broccoli.